Two minutes read American journalist Media Grace uh, Media Grace Nadeko's press conference about Tinubu's uh, certificate scandal. Hmm. Two minutes read American journalist media Grace Nadeko's press conference about Tinubu's uh, certificate scandal. Uh, wow. So the National Democratic Coalition Organization, Nadeko USA, yesterday addressed a world press conference in Chicago, United States. The press conference was graced by foreign media and journalists who asked investigative questions on the alleged forged certificate of President Bola Tinubu. Recall that Comrade David Adenekon, publicity secretary of Nadeko USA, had disclosed that the purpose of the conference is not is to provide journalists and the international community the opportunity to ask the needed questions that will properly investigate and shed more light on the alleged forgery of the Chicago State University certificate by President Bola Tinubu. Yes, on the October 23, 2023, Nadeko provided foreign journalists the information surrounding Tinubu's academic scandal while also asking the following questions. What is the truth identity? true identity of of uh, Bola A. Tinubu. Why did he hire lawyers to stop the release of his documents if truly he graduated from the school? Why do the transcript from Southwest College that enabled Mr. Tinubu to gain admission as a transfer student bear a social security number belonging to a female? <laughs> How come his date of birth is different on his CSU certificate? and what he submitted to INEC. Nadeko added additionally transcript from the Southwest College that enabled Mr. Tinubu to gain admission as a transfer student via a social security number different from Mr. Tinubu's social security number. This transcript further showed that the gender of the applicant was a female, whereas Mr. Tinubu, who supposedly graduated from the CSU, is a male. Again, the gender of the transferring student was stated as that of a female, and therefore it has become necessary to clarify why it is so. Upon graduation, the gender has changed to male. Mr. Tinobu seems to be associated with two social security numbers. The Chicago State University should explain why he has two social security numbers, as if that was not confusing enough, it has been confirmed that one of the social security number 23106090595 originally issued in the state of Virginia is currently being used by someone else, a female. Hmm. So Nadeko press conference yesterday went on why the Nigerian Supreme Court had the petitions filed against Tenobu himself. Yeah, so this happened uh, on Monday. Uh, alongside the Supreme Court of Nigeria, uh, commencing the hearing of the proceedings with respect to the appeals filed in by uh, Tiku and uh, and Peter Obi against uh, Tinubu's uh, election or vict- against Tinubu's victory from the tribunal. Okay, so it was true that this conference went on and several questions were answered. And uh, here, I think CSU will also need to come and uh, will also need to come and uh, you know explain their own part even though they have done already the position uh, more questions will come to CSU later I am pretty sure whether they like it or not it's definitely going to happen okay so there are a few questions here first of all we remember that why this pre- press conference was going on the uh, APC USA member also held another press conference alongside this uh, Nadeko press conference to counter whatever Nadeko is saying or doing in their press conference. Initially, the APC USA warned Nadeko not to hold that press conference, but they couldn't succeed, so they had to organize their own conference, and uh, we are yet to get the outcome of that conference as well. So let's see. The, uh, somebody saying the truth you hide or shy away from today will hunt you down tomorrow uh mr shofawari says that another person saying chicago state university is a fake school 
where certificates is being bought by the highest bidder. That is the kind of comment that is going to compare Chicago State University to, you know, either defend themselves or be exposed further. The way I see it, a very fruitless hooter is a fruitless labor. Okay. Uh, another person is saying it is a shame to see that most people supporting Tinubu are Yorubas. They are acting without shame and no sense of regret for his serious for his actions. I am grateful that notable elders are men of the sound mind, like Dele Farotimi, Dele Momodu, Rufai Shun, Dr. Abati, and Yoruba are uh, Yorubas without compromise in this issue. The Afeniferes are uh are elders of yoruba land fighting for justice fairness and equity why some uncultured and ill-schooled educated illiterates are in support of mr bolatinobu's shameful act okay and so that is why it is um, you know we shouldn't be putting everything on yoruba so let's say if, if the apc Yorubas are actually the problem that we have now, not the whole Yorubas. That is the truth. Some say you are just laboring in pains, nothing more. Post election trauma has really traumatized you, child. No vex because can you imagine? I saw this one is saying. But some other person is saying they are said to be the most the most tribe with the highest number of professors, but now we understand their mode of education. <laughs> spot it. I would say that will remain a, a scar in your being till in your being till eternity. Eh? Okay. And somebody say, Mumu, you people are just wasting your beautiful time. No matter how you people, the whole world conference uh press Tinubu has been confirmed president of Nigeria. No while now. You will suffer it. Mm? He will suffer. I'll be here. Mm? They will suffer. The, the people suffering are not the Igbos or the Aosas. All the Nigerians are suffering, including the Southwesterners, who are supporting this, uh, what is going on. Uh, so I say, it is uh, not about siding, siding me, but about your future generation uh, and mine. This government will, will be worse than worries. Why have criminals as your president okay it is not about tribe nor religion be reasonable i say wow this question was fantastic and also interesting this is just the beginning child just look at how nigerian president is disgraced on the mod never in the history of any nation uh, point of correction he is not nigerian's president no he can't be okay <laughs> So that is what is happening here. Uh, the press conference has been held. As usual, we've seen people who are supporting him, even with all that is going on. So while some are also saying that uh, this is very disgraceful and has to be corrected, Nigerians will always have divided opinion anyway. So it depends on which side you belong. All right, so thank you for listening and let's have a comment.